Hi there welcome to the Layman channel we are proud to bring you exclusive in-depth technical sports analysis. Today we are going to introduce the key metric of the game and how we can derive the best scenario that would happen during the game. Welcome to our knowledge funnel. The given hierarchy show how the following six tiers of different segments making up the overall structure of good game observation metrics. From here we are able to summarize every key elements required in the different tiers domain. With this structure in place we can now target the key components that are working against one another within the metrics. This help us to construct meaningful definitions and strong reasoning points to be valid and provide logical explanation to the curious masses. The lastest professional play indicate their most home or away game that signify how their in-play statistic would be like. As such it helped to define how the team manager set the plot while they are at home or away. Monetary graph shows the difference on the endpoint of a monetary support not missing out important value on average highest and lowest these values show how much supports are taken into the considerations. And possess the higher support value likewise those holding very low value will further depress the market support intention in the game. From the start and how much percent of margin it went up or down or specific team do not underestimate the movements of these graph trends. In place for the movements we can be assured of the chances of each individual team possess bringing the monetary knowledge of each team support to another level. And here you are hope you can enjoy the exclusive knowledge of club support and external investment pouring into a game and influencing the result observe and interpret the game will be more interesting from then. Here we have it it's the techniques comparison we categorized it into three simplest form of understanding on the field simply we can call it as finishing ball movements and ball pressure. This is the aspect of understanding the strength of a team on how they can freely scoring and making all chances counted. Unlike other techniques finishing seem like a critical lifeline of any great teams. We tap on the ball movements beside the creativity and the crucial finishes ball movements seem to the other key factors in contributing for goals top teams often have crafty players creating unique movements and nail the game brilliantly. We need to emphasis on the ball pressure so what's his pressure in layman term guess it's obvious that all the team compartments need to work extra hard to ensure the opponents losing the control and chances with these understanding. A team can produce better performance time to time depending very much on these given statistic hence make good use of it. Welcome to our team fitness and in-play modules. With the titles suggested we are deriving how both teams can match up WTH their current analyzed speed acceleration and strength as a whole unit. 
This useful information allows you to know exactly how sides will be responding to one another. Within this module we are having in play tactical setup is illustrated the way we simulated it are by using their past performance and in play statistics to present a better picture on how the yes and no of the game could be illustrated into. All the information can be useful in plotting goals and how the game can lead into if simulated in the right way. What is market logic validation? This is simply a comparison of current market speculation against what our analysis derivation to uncover the differences in what could be the right or wrong. Many supporters have owned fancied wishes and thinly illogical while bring their true faith to support their club but eventually there will be a winner and not all results are desirable. This tool manage emotions and poor delusions to help supporters better manage the outcome in advance. Coming to this past statistic insights which will ignite many areas of knowledge combined and to be integrated as one. Firstly on the tactical play of both teams and how they adopt the changes throughout each games. Next we are seeing more the actions taking place on the field from no of shots free kicks corners flanking pressure and some other key events on the ground. We managed to drill down to more sophisticated details breakdowns in order to educate our audience. At the same time it remind us that there's no perfect team and only by all the good players collaborations daring changes made during the breaks and the direction of the players mindset set the game going. All the essences are beautifully captured here. Trending events are one of the most challenging module to be set into. This required many understanding of how metrics interact with one another. How the triggers evolved between the given data. There are also important knowledge on how a team can be corrupted under some unique circumstances. Here are the three components that can be briefly explained under comparison trends. Weightage denote the amount of money been supported by external forces or syndication. Triggers are the amount of reactive data that resulted the game to turn out to be in some scenarios. For trend metric it explained that some teams will not compete as to gain edge on some monetary gains. As for individual team model. 
it was to be observed for the next event for new changes or improvements via current assigned codes. For metric summary, we simply summed up all the relevant modules that have significant useful metrics to be measured in a very easy to read format. However this does not mean the actual favorable side that the whole analysis suggested the full picture can only be revealed when the given measurements are questioned or queried against the favoring of a strong team. From this step we can be clarified whether a team has indeed been working hard for the game or the given tags are just to distract the general public. In short we find these researches meaningful and interesting. However please always be mindful that this does not serve as a tool for gambling which we heavily condemned. It's logically understood that the first team to score should or may impact the overall result giving the other opponent a run for the money. This is how true in modern competitive game where a slight mistake or hidden fatigues could cost everything. Here we concluded some conclusive statistic and information to visualize on a specific team selected for such projection. Often in a game. Once a goal has been conceded the pressure will be greater on the losing team and see how they can be responding. In short analyzed metrics should contribute the possible successful milestone for every team that need to achieve some decent results. Defense. Help to minimize opponent's possession time and shooting percentage per possession. With good defense it is usually more consistent than good offense, as it will win out on the long run. Tough defense improves defensive rebounding and often building up such momentums are useful for counterattacks against strong opponents. Hence never underestimate the art of good defensing that build a cornerstone of a team. NDV by far is our standard formula used for calculating a percentage of game intensity and effects involving components like Monetary impact Tactical design On-field framework Maximum work rate and comparative game variables These data contain similar simulated magnitude of change data as continuous exploration of actual game behaviors. There is a paucity of studies exploring the effects of what possible triggers may occur within these given regressed conditions.